Hello everybody! In today's video I will show you how to install the Eclipse development environment and the ABAP development tools for Eclipse. Then we connect to an SAP system and open ABAP code in Eclipse. First we download Eclipse from eclipse.org. We click on the button download. Then on the button download x8664 and we download the file to our computer. After that we open the explorer and we do a double click on the exe file. So the Eclipse installer starts and here we type Eclipse IDE for enterprise Java and web developers. Then we can set an installation folder and we click on installing. First we accept the license agreement and then we install Eclipse. So I have increased the speed here a little bit. After that we click on the button launch. Then we can set a, a workspace directory. Click on the button launch. Now the Eclipse IDE starts and on the first start we have to pick, uh, we have to set some uh, uh, answers here. So do we need the line numbers, do we want to execute the jobs in the background and so on. I pick here on every question yes. Then we sh the summary, okay, I forgot to answer the first question. Yes, two. Then I click on the last, on the summary and then on finish. Then I click on help and install new software. And here I type HTTPS then tools.hana.ondemand.com slash latest. Then I click on the button add and I give the repository a name. I pick here HANA tools and I click on the button add. Then here we see the ABAP development tools and some other tools for business warehouse and cloud business application. So, but for this example, today I only want to install the ABAP development tools. <coughs> so I click on the button next. And next again. Then we have to accept some license agreements, click on finish and here we can trust the authorities, the, the host tools HANA on demand.com. We check here the checkbox and we click on the button trust selected. After that we have to restart the Eclipse IDE. And now this is the new overview. So we click on window, then on perspective, open perspective and others. And here we pick ABAP. Then we click on open. And we see here on the top right a new icon, ABAP. 
so now we have some different views and this is the big advantage of Eclipse the modularity so we close this and we create an upper project and I have already installed the SAP GUI with different systems and these systems are shown here I click on my NPL system double click system ID and I don't change here anything and here I type in the client the username and the password so my username is developer and the password download for my NPL system then I click on next then we can pick a project name so I take this the default project name then I click on new and I set the working set so I type here NPL test click on finish and finish again so after that we see in the project explorer our system and the different packages on the system I pick my set examples package and I open the source code library and the different programs we see here the different custom programs of mine and to show some up up code I pick the program um, read HTTP data we see here the fields the variables I use in this program and here we see the source editor and so if we change here something in the code we can activate it then the code is checked of any errors and we can run the program here so if we click on run subgui opens in eclipse and the program will be executed or is executed here we see the result of the program the and we can activate it again and we can do some uh, debugging we set here in breakpoint and we run the program again and we see here the program stops at the breakpoint and if we click here we see on the right side all the variables with the values so it's a very good overview and in the source editor any number of objects can be opened simultaneously also from different systems or SAP projects each object appears in a separate tab with name and the corresponding SAP project since there is no limit to the number of tabs the limitation in the SAP GUI to a maximum of six modes is also no longer applicable so on the left side the important view is the project explorer it contains a list of all SAP projects in use. SAP project means here an SAP system. And the outline view shows a structured representation of all elements. For example, here, the used variables in my program set read HTTP data. So, if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Also, write something in the comments i also or i always like to read them take care and see you on the next video